Today I want to take a look at Power Platform Admin Center and how to enable telemetry. So on the left hand side, well, if we go to make.powerapps.com to begin, in the top right gear icon, you'll see Admin Center. That's how we want to get into our menu. It's going to provide all the admin choices. Now from this endpoint, admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com, we have an analytics branch on the left-hand side, and this menu is going to offer telemetry using Azure App Insights. So we'll come over here to Data Export, and we have two different tabs, Data Lake and App Insights. Data Lake every 24 hours, and this is going to cover usage about your Power Apps and Power Automate. We also have one for App Insights, which covers CDS and API performance. So we'll come over to App Insights and take a look at what we have. Here we have a new data export menu. We'll go ahead and select CDS at the bottom, and we'll select which Power Platform environment. Uh, for this demo, I'm selecting the default environment, and we'll click Next. Here we're going to look at Azure resources and subscriptions. If this menu is empty and you have no subscriptions available, it's likely because the account you're logged in with is not able to see those in Azure Active Directory. The thing to remember, and I've got a second tab open to portal.azure.com, as well as the one that we had for make, dot powerapps.com. Those are the two addresses to know about, but they both operate in the same Azure Active Directory domain. So when you're logged in to Power Platform and you're seeing the menu that we're looking at for setup, you also want to go look at your Azure tab and make sure you have the ability to create resources because that's where the hosting will occur. If this menu is empty, it's likely because the account you're logged in with doesn't have any subscriptions. It doesn't have permissions to create resources. It's likely missing permissions in Azure. So over here on the Azure side, we actually want to go create App Insights, which is the one with the purple light bulb icon. And you can get that by just typing App Insight in the top center bar and we can create a new App Insights instance. And we've got a name ready to go here for usage on CDS. And we can put that into our resource group, currently empty, using all the default settings. So there's really not a lot we have to do, except a resource group and a name for App Insights. The resource group, kind of an empty folder for organiz organizing and labeling uh, the items we're creating in Azure. And then this is actually the App Insight instance. And that's going to be the name that we want to focus on. So we'll do Review and Create. It's doing a validation check. And the validation shows Pass. So we can go ahead and click Create. And this will provision an App Insight instance. Completely empty, but it gives us the starting point that we need to connect the Power Platform Admin Center. And on the Admin menu, You'll see you pick your subscription first, and then it cascades a drop down to pick out a resource group, which we have. And then finally, you get the App Insight instance. If there are none available, you first want to go to the Azure portal and create those and then return here. So ours is currently deploying. We've got the deployment screen in progress. It's showing the status icons. There's also a bell icon that pops up in the top right when things are succeeded. There we go. Deployment succeeded. Your deployment is complete. Now from this point, we're going to use our back button to go back, next, and refresh the menu. And that kind of pulls the environment, queries it to see what's available now that maybe wasn't a moment ago. So we'll pick out the App Insights and click Create. And from here, you'll see setting up data export. And this is really kind of registering Power Platform Admin Center with that App Insight instance. So now we have the ability to get more analytics on our CDS or Dataverse tables on our usage patterns. There is a really cool article here where it talks about the different capabilities of what this reporting can do once we have it all connected. And I'll link to that in the video. But wanted to show you guys how to set up App Insights for Dataverse and using the Power Platform Admin Center. Thanks for watching.